video y'all it's Isaiah Zaya Kylie and I'm back at it again with another freaking video don't mind how I'm looking it's like nine o'clock in the morning I woke up early and I'm bored so I decided to go to family dollar and get some goodies so as I'm editing this video I noticed that my fan was on the whole entire time so y'all can hear it in the background and I apologize I usually turn it off but I don't know what I was thinking. It was really early in the morning. So I really apologize. Bear with me. But I do hope you enjoy the rest of the video. To clean these vans. Or at least to try to attempt to clean these vans. So that's what today's video is. I'm going to be attempting to clean my all white vans. And in my bag from Family Dollar, I got baking soda. This was 50 cents. <laughs> then I got hydrogen peroxide and this was this big bottle was only a dollar fifty but you can get a smaller bottle for a dollar a pack of two brushes this pack was a dollar and I had got this brush which was like two dollars I think um now I had got this brush because I was thinking like if I use this toothbrush right these shoes are dirty. Using a toothbrush is going to take too long. So, I'm going to attempt to use a brush. They didn't have a scrub brush, so bear with me. I had to compromise. So, I just got a handy-dandy old soft hair brush I get the scrubbing with. And you will also need a bowl of water. Now, I kind of looked at a video to do this. So, I'm just attempting. Um, Basically... You pour the hydrogen peroxide in the water and you also put the baking soda in the water, but it's like no measurement. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go with the flow. So let me open this hydrogen. Ooh. Hold on, let me show y'all. I'm just gonna attempt to pour some in there. I think that's enough. Then we're gonna, it's time for the baking soda. I got baking soda. You know, I had to go out for this. We don't usually have baking soda in the house here, but like, shoot. So I'm gonna try and open it with tweezers. Should I bring y'all down some so y'all can see what I'm doing? I'm gonna bring y'all down some. I don't know if y'all be able to. Yeah. I'm taking some tweezers trying to open this. Cause I'd be darned if I break a nail trying to open some baking soda. Okay. So my face is going to be cropped out because I kind of want y'all to see what I'm doing. So, yeah. So that's what we're doing. And I'm in my room, y'all. I practically film all my videos in my room now. Okay. Okay. Boom. your baking soda and they say just pour it in here this is supposedly what make the shoes white so you pour some oh i could have poured too much i don't know but i'm gonna take a toothbrush and mix the mixture i'm gonna take the green one because who likes green i mean i like green jk just saying. So then you're gonna you're gonna mix it. You're gonna mix it. After you mix it, oh, I forgot the most important part: towel. Cause we're not trying to. I'm not trying to get anything dirty. So you can put a towel on whatever surface you're using. I mean, if you're outside, you obviously wouldn't need a towel, but. I'm in my room. So, yeah. Y'all, these shoes is terrible. Look. Like, terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So, then, got your mixture. You're going to scoop a chunk of it. And you're just going to get the scrubbing. The scrubbing. And 
it's like a little thick. Maybe I should add some more hydrogen peroxide because it's a little, a little thick on them. I'm going to add some more hydro, hydrogen peroxide to it. Hold on. It's like I didn't open the hole big enough. The world. For some reason, it's like not opening. Here we go. Oh, it's open now. Yo, look. But I opened. I feel stupid. Y'all, look. No wonder why it wasn't coming out. Y'all, that was the dumbest thing I've ever did. Okay, I got it now. Now, take this, show y'all. Some more in here. Hey, you only live once, right? I ain't gonna try to mix it, so don't be so thick. And this is what I came up with. Yeah, so, now we're gonna attempt to do this again. So you pick up some, and you just get the scrubbing. Scrubbing, scrubbing. What I'm looking at is I had fell in these vans, right? And I had gotten a nasty scrape on me and that was basically a blood stain and it's hydrogen peroxide in here. So like, as I was scraping it, it started foaming up as if like, back, because bacteria got into it and it's blood. So I just thought that was crazy. And that happened a while ago. Like, I didn't even clean the blood stain off of these jeans. Crazy, right? But as it's looking so far, I honestly don't really see, I mean, it's cleaning them, but they're still, they still have a bad yellow tint. So, I'm just going to go ahead and we'll keep going and then hopefully at the end they at least look a little bit better. Probably going to end up tie dyeing these anyway. Probably. But just the attention. These I'm just gonna pour it because it's blood. I'm gonna pour the hydrogen peroxide like directly up there. Try to put it like that. Then I'm gonna scrape it to try to like see if it comes out. So it came out, but as you can see, like I'm scraping it, and you can see like the creases right here. and it's like 
really dingy and stuff right here so it's like I don't know if it's going to dry and be better but yeah I attempted this and it looks like a flop because I mean they're clean but they're not like back to white they're really dingy looking so I'm gonna put them outside to attempt for them to dry and I'll come back and I'll let y'all know so I actually don't think that's gonna work they I mean it might clean it but I, they're still gonna like be dingy like this so I think they will remain dingy and not cute so what i'm gonna do is the only front markers i can freaking find around the house which they're not bad colors put together so yeah i'm gonna do these colors and you need your alcohol now i don't want to just go like this because this is a big opening and i'm clumsy i'm messy so i got an empty spray bottle it used to be some hair products i cleaned it out so i'm empty i'm going to put the alcohol in here and then i'm going to spray it. so that's about all you need but since the shoes are still a little damp because i'm impatient to wait for them to dry got my handy dandy old blow dryer so blow dryer. Here I'm just explaining that I'm gonna color on the shoe with Sharpie and then spray it with alcohol. Okay, so now I don't really know what color I wanna do, but I guess I will attempt to go in with the purple first. Uh, yeah.
So after about five hours of drying outside, this is what they came out looking like. And I'm just gonna leave the front like this and leave the back like that because I don't really care about the back. But yeah, this is what they came looking out like. And yeah. So that's all for this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, my next video will be posted very soon. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy. If you have any video recommendations, drop them in the comments below. And I'll be back with another freaking video. Oh, and also, love yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. Bye, my baby.